Trying to keep busy during a time of grief, Marshawn Ford Rush works on her computer. She shares memories of the three loved ones she lost to COVID-19 since 2020. All of them love to smile and laugh and have a good time and remember family. The Omaha woman's uncle, aunt and cousin all lost to the pandemic. What I remember the most is that my cousin told me, I'll see you soon. I'll see you, when you, I'll see you in your next visit when you come back. I missed you. Like I was leaving and I had just missed her. And she said, it's no problem. I'll just see you when you come back. And I never did get to see her. She says dealing with all that grief has taken its toll, made her frustrated and upset. You have to make it make sense or you can't go to bed. You grapple with your mortality because they weren't much older than me. Um, they weren't in crazy you know, dis disability situations where they should have died. And then this is the one that gets me. They're not vaccinated. Mental health therapist Tim Haran with CHI Health says all those feelings, denial, anger, bargaining, depression and acceptance are normal and can present in different ways, especially if they're connected to the pandemic. When it's happening, it's happening more sudden, unexpected, which isn't just um, grief loss, but it's also a trauma. And when people are dealing with trauma, like COVID, it can be difficult to move through the grieving process without the in-person wakes, funerals, and family get-togethers. People can move in and out of each of those stages. Some people can get stuck in a certain stage. It looks different for everybody because everybody has a different comfort level. And it's not just families feeling the loss of these people. Doctors and nurses also grieve for their patients. A nurse looked at me one time and said, I can't do this again. Michael Thompson and Barb Lenz are part of the CHI Health pastoral care team. They help patients and staff in faith-based ways along with other duties. Always tried to be there when somebody was uh, dying because I mean you don't want anybody to die alone. Their lives are being shattered. We're here to help hold the fragments. Lenz and Thompson say it's key to be there for their staff as the pandemic rages on and more patients roll through the doors. There, there's a lot of frustration. Uh, going on and there's a lot of the uh, grieving process that's being carried by by staff and of course that includes anger. Ford Rush says she takes that feeling of anger and sadness and turns it into a positive, creating a way to remember her lost loved ones. I have to try to say stay in the living, you know, at least I'm alive, at least I'm here. I don't want to be miserable every day about people passing away because I felt like I was kind of in that. You still have to keep those traditions going, whether it's you know, one of us or all of us. She also encourages everyone to get vaccinated so more families don't have to deal with everything that comes with the grief. Just good, good-hearted people who just like to have a good time. It's just, it deserves it.